Hey guys, it's Alfred Brasilia Ships, and welcome back to Robocop Rogue City. In our last part, we had taken we had taken down and arrested uh, Wendell at Antonowski, and now we are back at this at the Detroit station. Station, we're getting our evaluation done. I knew he'd get him. I just I knew he'd be the one to bust that asshole. Glad we have Murphy on our team. Yes, you are glad. I swear, they keep moving the radio in different places. Not the TV personality I keep seeing on television? Something not many people know about me. I used to be a car mechanic before I landed this job. Is that supposed to put us at ease, Morgan? <laughs> B and two skill points. <laughs> Congratulations on catching Wendell. You seem to constantly be front page news. Not only that, your situation has become a topic of public debate. I imagine that could take a toll on anyone. How are you dealing with other people trying to determine your identity for you? Someone is fighting for my rights. That's probably the healthiest way of looking at it. But the status of a human would make you an autonomous being. It opens many doors. Being given human rights would let you fully take control of your life. Is that something that you'd actually want? That is not something a machine needs. So that's how you view yourself in this context. I got the wrong the one. idea of granting you human rights is a very important issue, but no more important than the main reason for today's session. Many people might not be aware of that, but I have the whole report on the heavy glitches that you suffered before capturing Wendell. The only other time you've experienced anything similar was during the slaughterhouse incident. That's when your partner was wounded. Now, you were fighting the person responsible for it. Do you think the severity of those glitches is caused by the intense feelings that you have towards either of them? Uh... I do not know. Don't worry. You're not alone on this. I am here to help you figure it out. Let's dig a little deeper. Your typical glitches are triggered by sensory stimulation. Similar to how most people experience memories when exposed to particular sights, sounds, or smells. But this wasn't the case with the other glitches that you experienced recently? No, they triggered randomly. That's what I suspected. And now tell me, what did they seem like to you when you experienced them? Uh, corrupted visions of my Corrupted past. visions of my past. I think we're onto something. Your usual glitches were making you recall memories. No more harmful than remembering your wedding day when hearing Mendelssohn's march. We have to differentiate them from those severe malfunctions that you experienced in the slaughterhouse and at the mall. Those latter ones are the real problem, and we need to get to the bottom of it. But I think I've gathered quite a lot of valuable data, and at our next session, I'll present my conclusions. Hmm. Hey, Robo, could you stop by the cells on your way to read? Someone there wants to speak to you. Oh, Pickles is here. If it happens, I'm definitely getting sad. I've got a degree in robotics. Right, let's put these in. I'd recognize those footsteps anywhere. Over here, Tin Man! What did you do this time? Uh, why does it have to be that I did something? Maybe one of your guys just got a little overeager. Did they? No. But none of this matters. I'm here mainly to congratulate us. 
We did it. We got the guy. We... We sure did, partner. Any new leads? Are you looking for trouble? This is the they lived happily ever after part of the story. Wendell was conducting suspicious activity for someone at OCP. I want to know who. Shit. I thought you were just looking to avenge your partner. I forgot that you're a dutiful officer. All right. I'll keep my ear to the ground and see what the streets are saying. Good. Good. Talk to you later, partner. Uh, he's all he's he's um no longer mad at me for hello. Magna Vault is hiring. Okay, Magna Vault. The old man had a heart attack. Seriously? I didn't think he had one. Dang. You're one cold lady. <laughs> Dang. I think you locked me out again. I can't hear you. We're busy working. Yeah, I get it. Oh, so the month. It's so mean. Is there anything in here? Nope. Murphy, in my office. Catching Antonowski put a smile on a lot of people's faces, but we still have one unresolved issue. Catching his accomplice at OCP. Exactly. And when everyone realizes that OCP's been sabotaging us the whole time, mentions of a strike will come up again. We don't want that. So who do you think it is? Becker is an obvious choice. I just don't know if that's not too obvious. Do you suspect that Becker is on Wendell's payroll? Uh, well, wow, only two choices? All signs point to him. They do, don't they? And that leads me to another thing. Becker wanted to meet you. You're supposed to show up at some old factory. And he wanted you to come alone. A rather unusual request. Oh, wow. That's why I'll get Officer Washington to listen in. By the way, how do you feel about it? Can you trust him? Despite shortcomings, he is trying his best. That makes me a little less anxious about signing him up to look after you. I'm skeptical of anyone that OCP tries to push on us. First Becker, then Washington. And let's not forget about Dr. Blanche. Speaking of which, Dr. Blanche, is she... Is she being helpful? Are you getting anything out of those sessions? She is an enormous help. She listens. Good. That's good to hear. Sometimes that's all it takes. I will meet Becker, but there is a place I will visit first. Sure thing. In the meantime, I'll brief your overseer. Officer Washington. Yes, sir. You've got a new assignment. I'm ready and willing. Need the precinct. I'm surprised there's no like collectibles from here in the garage here. Hello. Oh, this is our mechanic. Oh, this is our mechanic guy here. He pushes up our police cars. No collectibles in the other workshop. No. Okay. Go to. Oh, of course I'm going here. Not over yet. <laughs> Did you watch the game yesterday? I don't know what's wrong with our team. What losers? I wanted to throw the TV out the window. 
but it was too heavy. I pulled a hamstring because of that. <laughs> Wait, why are you asking me about my liver and kidneys? They shot me in the leg. We can offer you a higher standard of accommodation and additional benefits if you decide to sell. Just get the bullet out and let me leave. She's waiting for you, Murphy. Are you the wig? We got other officers in there too. Come on, give me the skinny. I want to know everything. Ah, oh, Murphy, we started the party a little early. I hope you don't mind. Sorry, partner. It's my fault. I just got to hear what's happening at the precinct. In usual fashion, OCP's doing everything in its power to keep the police down. Come on, this is time to celebrate. Lewis is feeling better, Wendell's in jail. Let's party. If you don't think a strike is brewing... You know what? Let me get this grouch out of here so that you two can talk. Okay, okay, I'm going. Feel better, Lewis. You look well. I gotta admit, I sleep better knowing that you got that bastard. But what about you? How have you been lately? Did you get any more of those visions? I still see things. You know, ever since Antonowski showed up, they seem to be happening more often. And with greater intensity. I don't think I've ever seen you in such a state. I just know how it affects me. So I can't imagine how it affects you. The fact that he's the brother of one of those guys who... shot you. We should not let the past... Oh, pass. no, I'm sorry. Okay, I was wrong. I thought he was the brother of Kane from the second movie, so he's the brother of one of the guys from the first movie. Wow. His presence reminds me of the day that I... that I left you. I often think that maybe if we didn't split up that day, things would have gone down differently. You did not pull the trigger. The people responsible have paid for it. I know. What I don't get is if Wendell is actually the brother of one of your murderers, then why did he come out now? After all this time? And why didn't he kill you when he got a chance? That is what I intend to find out. Right. Is it true that he's working with someone from OCP? That is what he claims. Damn, Becker. We should just lock him up already. We do not have proof. Not yet. I don't know if you heard, but the old man ended up in this hospital after his heart attack. I'm not even sure if he's in a state to talk, but it probably wouldn't hurt to check if he knows anything, right? Anyway, I think I need a little rest after all this excitement. Thank you for visiting me. We'll be back to working together in no time. I look forward to it. Hmm. Enter the VIP wing. They have one of those? Okay. I mean, of course they do. Why wouldn't they? I think every hospital does. Did you hear? We're moving the old man to a private clinic in 20 minutes. Good. I don't think I can last a minute longer in this stench. Can I get through, please? Hey, where do you think you're going? To talk to the old man. You're the only one who actually showed up to pay him a visit. You know he talks about you a lot. Does he? Yeah, about you being granted human rights. He's rooting for you. So maybe it's not such a bad idea. You can go in. I serve this town with every drop of my sweat. I always try to improve people's lives. I was good to them. Just like you told me, Mother. We did not. S Michael, is that you? Your halo shines so bright. 
Someone in OCP was supporting Wendell's operations. I want to know who. Robocop? Oh, God. I'm getting close to my final days. And I just can't stand this uncertainty. But you came back from the other side. Tell me, how was it? Was it unbearable? Fragments of my past life flashed before my eyes, and they keep flashing. Perhaps I am still dead. You can't be, regardless of what the papers say. I believe that death isn't the end. You are walking proof of that. Unfortunately, I have not completed all I set out to do. All saboteurs inside OCP won't let me. Are you referring to Max Becker? That weasel seeks not only to destroy you, but also my company. Be wary of him. I know you would never let anyone jeopardize the good name of OCP. <sighs> Before you go, could you be so kind and give me some painkillers? That's better. I can always count on you. Can't I? Thank you, son. The helicopter is on its way, sir. Perfect. Oh. Why the long face, Robo? They'll pump him full of OCP's cocktails and come Monday morning he'll be back to signing deals if nothing happened. Who said I have a long face? I won't allow you to treat me like this. I am the mayor of this city. Robocop, you have to intervene. Is there a problem? This man is preventing me from exposing OCP's hypocrisy. The way this hospital treats its patients is the best depiction of what OCP wants to do with this city. A brave policewoman shot in the line of duty is crammed into a small room while the old man has a cozy VIP wing of the hospital all to himself. This is what Delta City stands for, even bigger division. But the time you had your tonsils removed, you were staying in the VIP wing, too. We're not talking about me. We need to talk about the people. Robocop, please stop this madness. Make a statement. That policewoman is your partner, isn't she? So tell us, doesn't she deserve better? Lewis should be treated under better conditions. Hey, cameraman, you got that? Even an OCP robot sees the hypocrisy. Listen to him. Don't let OCP take away our city. Say no to Delta City. Vote for the neighborhoods. Vote for Kuzak. Okay, guys, we're leaving. We should find him a cozy, secluded, preferably. And fast travel. Okay, so it's not right here. Let's three windows here. Did Mr. Becker's intentions become clear? Maybe he wants to thank you for catching Wendell. I only seek answers. Okay, there, there's gonna be a fight here. I see a gun and a uh, repair kit. Okay. So you can follow a command. Surprising. Surrender or there will be trouble. Defiant as usual. Your creator screwed up the job by not installing an off switch. Well, it doesn't pay to fix their mistakes. It's cheaper just to replace you. So, Robocop, meet the future of law enforcement. 
Seriously? New enemy? Power like yours, but at the push of a button. That is why it is not only more effective than you, but infinitely more obedient. That's just a fragment of the speech I had prepared. But hell, this product speaks for itself. Robocop, what's the status? This is no appreciation party. Gunshots? What's going on? Becker has introduced me to his new UEDs? They already functional? Mr. Becker bragged about them during my onboarding. I'll try to find something that can help. Just give me a sec. Wow, I think they're destroying my health. Let's see if they ever got around to fixing it. Warm up is over. Get ready for the real strike. I knew the guy that made you. Bob Morton, I knew the arrogant brown nose. I used to be happy that he was dead. Last asshole on my way to the chair. Now, I wish he was here. Enforcing police. Took a big gamble. Hey, who are you talking to? Is that Oedipus guy helping you? <sighs> well, once I'm done with you, his career is over. You are durable, I'll give you that. You could become a strong part of my urban enforcement unit. Your redundant parts have too much impact.
Taking a rest. I feel obliged to use them any way I see fit. Until now, I didn't want to damage you too much, but no more. down. God, I have I have no I'm of health kids here. Give me this. This thing is one. This, hopefully it's a one shot to them too. Not a one shot, okay. Can they shoot me through here?
Oh, I hate this mission. Come on, zoom in. Hating aggression. Man, talk about no amp, no health. Wow, that was such bull crap. Oh my god. I hate this. I hate I freaking hate this. If I die again, I'm gonna load a difficult. Full auto, suckers. with that man that's so cheap oh come on I shot the guy's head off he should have died from that Thank you, finally. What the hell just happened? Backer. Oh, just stop right there. Great performance, RoboCop. And Mr. Becker. It was an excellent presentation. 
You promised to show me a reliable remedy for this crime wave. And you really did. Yes. I've been working on UEDs for the past five years. I meant years. Robocop. He's proved once again that he's still the top player. Excuse me? It just barged in here and started accusing me of conspiracy without a shred of proof. It is not stable. I have Wendell's confession. Oh, do you mean the guy that's been harvesting human organs? <laughs> Very reliable source. You keep forgetting that your organic components are the bane of my entire existence. They complicate things. I need a simple tool. A tool that I can control. And until this remote is in my hands, I have that... Oh! Well, it's uh, time for me to go. Thank you, Mr. Becker, for your presentation. I'll be watching the progress of your project. But until then, keep up the excellent work, Robocop. And you better keep an eye on that remote. Odd. I'm not getting my health and armor. Let's just do it. What's going on over there? Becker's here, and the cops are not happy. Becker tested an army of robots on Robocop. Can you believe that? That is so unethical to conduct an experiment without our supervision. Right. Where's the motherboard at? I guess, I guess I'm going to the um. Hey, Becker's here. Let me get my hands on him. It's a new age, and you have to accept it. My robots are here to stay. Detroit will become the first city policed entirely by my machines. No brains, no glitching. Total control. So that's it? You just gonna replace us? You've already been replaced, honey. Can't you see it? What are you talking about? Murphy's one of us. You're a little confused. That's Robocop you're talking about. Murphy's the guy who's legally dead. That's it. We are going on strike. We are cops. Cops do not go on strike. That's the spirit, old timer. I have important people to meet, multi-million dollar contracts to sign. You know, the usual. Well, that sucks. We can't just sit here and do nothing. You can do something. Your cruiser needs cleaning after your last shift. If you have a hard time finding... What is Delta City? ...something to do, come to me. That goes for the rest of you, too. Murphy, briefing room, now. Yes, sir. I didn't know where that motherboard was, so I couldn't take it. <clears throat> 13 dead after the celebration of Guatemala. First of all, Day, I don't want to hear a word about those damn robots. We have a job to do. Now that the milk is spilled, we are looking for a mole in OCP that's uh, been protecting Antonowski. Radio. As hard as it is to believe, Becker is not that guy. Yeah, but he's still a prick. Sure is, but there's still a mole that we need to find. It's gotta be the rookie. I'm sitting right here. So? We start by asking the source. What are you suggesting? I pay Wendell a visit in jail. Good thinking. You can try to squeeze a confession out of him. If I get my hands on him, I will squeeze more than just a confession. Hey, Murphy, that news lady's in the lobby waiting to talk to you.
Alright, I'll do that. Robo, do you have a minute? Yes. Listen, I wanted to say that I misjudged you. My crusade is against OCP. You were just collateral. So to extend an olive branch, I'd, I'd like to give you this. What is it? It's the tape of you glitching the other day at the mall. It's the only copy, so you can do whatever you want with it. I am sure your TV station would love to play the tape. Yeah, that's why you need to take it before I change my mind. Thank you. Now that I have you here, can I interview you as a consolation prize? They want me to ask you about the election. Seems that people value your opinion. I would be happy to oblige. Okay, roll the tape. I'm here at Metro West conducting an interview with a man that needs no introduction. Robocop. One of the more contentious points brought up during the election is the construction of Delta City. Many believe that Delta City will destroy old Detroit. Mayor Kuzak spoke at length about the illegal evictions that OCP has been planning in order to start the construction. Other candidates, namely John Mills, believe that Delta City is a chance to clean up the city. What are your thoughts on this subject? Is Delta City the future of old Detroit? Delta City will be Detroit's downfall. So you agree with Mayor Kuzak that Delta City will bring more harm to the city? Thank you for clarifying your stance on this important topic. This has been Robocop for Channel 9. Samantha Ortez, signing off. Thanks for the interview, Robo. We'll get out of your hair as soon as we're done packing up the equipment. Uh... Okay, there was a um, there was a mistake in in the on the in the in the subtitles there. It said. Saw Becker tear the rookie a new one for what he did at that factory. I wouldn't be surprised if he was already. It's she said signing out, but the the subtitle says singing out. Oh, she is doing real good. She had that fire in her eyes. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, he's actually he's actually he's in actual prison. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna stop this here. I will see you guys in, in a couple minutes for the next part.